and marimba rhythm start to play Dance with me, make me sway Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore Hold me close, sway me more Like a flower bending in the breeze Bend with me, sway with ease When you dance you have to be with me Stay with me, sway with me Other dancers may be on the floor Dear, but my eyes will see only you Only you have that magic technique When we sway I go weak I can hear the sound of violins Long before All right, aficionados. Here we are today with a review for you. We're going to do the Partagas Black Label. Uh, this is a Toro size. They call it a Magnifico. It's a 6 by 54. Uh, this bad boy I've had sitting in my uh, humidor now for over five years. Uh, it's the last one I got left, so I figure, what the hell, let's see what's changed in five years. Uh, let me give you a little bit of background. Uh, the Black Label comes in eight different sizes. And uh, as you know, I'm not going through the sizes. Uh, the wrapper, they say it's a U.S. Connecticut. It's a dark, dark wrapper. Um, binders, Dominican Republic. Fillers, Dominican Republic and Nicaraguan. Um, Construction-wise, uh, she's got a lot of veins in it. I mean, you can see it crystal clear. I don't even put, have to put my hand up like I normally do. A lot of veins. They're not really large. They're good medium-sized veins, but it's very veiny. It's a very dark and rich looking uh, wrapper. Um, I'm just getting barnyard off the wrapper, off the foot though. I'm getting a nice chocolate note. And uh, according to a gentleman that I'm on Skype with right now, he's telling me that I'm going to get chocolate and wood, but we're going to find out in a few. Because like I said, it's been five years since I've had one of these bad boys. And uh, I really enjoyed them. You know, if I could recall five years ago, I'm lucky I can recall tomorrow, yesterday. Um, so we'll see. Let's give it a snip. And uh, if I was prepared and have my cutter out, let's see what we get on the cold draw. It's a little snug. Yeah, it's definitely snug. I may have to snip it again. I'll let you know. I'm going to try it. Right now, I'm just. I'm just getting that, just a little, yeah, maybe earthy, I'm not sure, hang on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a, actually it's not earthy, it's just a tobacco taste, I'm not really getting anything. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and light it up, give it a light here on camera, my new thing now. And uh, we'll see what the hell we get. Go from there, see if it's changed, see if it's mellowed out. Um, I believe when I smoked them five years ago, it was, uh, started off medium. I think it got to a full, if I recall. But let's see what age does to these bad boys, see if it changes it any. There we go. We're toasted. The draw, even though it was tight, is not affecting me getting any smoke. It's not, not a problem at all, as you can see. Nice. All right. Well, I have to give it to the gentleman on the other end. I am getting some woody, woody notes off it. A very, a very slight, like semi-sweet chocolate. Um, I thought I was getting a little sweetness when I did the cold draw. I wasn't positive, but I'm getting like a little semi-sweet chocolate. Um. So that's about it. So I'm going to get into the uh, first third of my Partagas Black, and uh, I'll be right back. So stick All around. right, everybody. We're back here with our uh, Partagas Black label. Uh, we're in the first third here. Things are going really good. Um, I'm getting it. It's a very rich cigar. It's, it, rich meaning uh, it, it's a creamy rich. Um, I'm getting some uh, semi-sweet chocolate. I'm picking up definitely that wood note is still there. Um, it's a medium body cigar. I know online they say a full. Um, 
I'm thinking I, it's going to be, I'm curious to see what happens. This thing's been sitting, like I said, for five years in my humidor. And I'm curious to see if it's going to be less mild, meaning it's not going to be a full body. It's going to stick as a medium body. And i um, interested to see what the flavor changes are going to be from five years ago. Uh, the ash is pretty good. You can see here it's holding on. It's it's wavy. I'm probably going to have to touch that up because it doesn't seem to be correcting itself. Um, it's getting a little flaky there. Uh, it's a nice, it looks white on the camera, but in reality, it, it's a nice dark gray ash. Um, the draw is, is a little snug. I did have to clip it again. If you could see it there, I did have to clip it. Um, but it seems to be going really good. Um, but that's about all I got right now. So we're going to smoke down, get down about midway. We'll come back and, uh, we'll see if anything changes. So, all right, everybody, here we are again. We're into our midway here on our Partagus black label. Um, not much has changed. The only other component that I'm picking up right now is, uh, it's getting a little earthy. Uh, I'm still getting some of that semi-sweet chocolate. Um, the wood is still there. The creamy richness is still there. Um, it is picking up though on body. It is. It's in a full body right now here at Midway. I was wondering if it if it was gonna you know stay as a medium because it's been aged so long. Um, but that doesn't appear to be. Uh, it's uh, it's full body now. The ash just uh, I just ashed it a little while ago. It was, it was getting ready to fall off. Um, about three quarter to an inch. It's been holding on. Uh, it did get a little flaky. As you can probably see there, but uh, overall, I'm really, I'm really still digging it. Um, like I haven't had one in five years, and from what I recall, five years ago, because I used to smoke them quite a bit, I, I still like it. It's, it's nice to go back and check these cigars out that you haven't smoked in a while. You know, people tend to forget about them because there's so many new cigars coming out every year, uh, tons of them, and uh, it's nice to go back and revisit these old smokes. Um, this week, I'm not going to give any shout-out this week. Uh, just changing it up a little bit. And, uh, again, like I said, not that I don't have people I, I can say thank you or go check them out. I'm just not going to do it today. Um, but uh, that's about it. There's nothing else to tell you. Nothing has really changed. Just that earthiness and the strength has picked up some. Um, so I'm going to get back to smoking and shooting the shit with someone on Skype here. And... Uh, We'll check back in uh, the final third. So All right, everybody. I'm back here with my, uh, oh, <coughs> excuse me, my part against Black Label. I'm down in the final third. Uh, really, really good. I I'm glad I picked this and pulled it out of the humidor and, and uh, found my old friend here and gave him a try because uh, it was well worth it. Um, earthiness, a little bit of that, that, uh, that, uh, semi-sweet chocolate on the retro hail here and there um woody um i did pick up notes of coffee though it was really good uh the coffee notes i did you know i had to touch up the burn just a little bit not much you know but i'm anal uh the it just ashed it again nice great draw full body it definitely even after five years it was still a full body smoke about midway it picked up but really good i mean I, i'm gonna finish this up probably nub it um i enjoyed it if you haven't tried it, go try to part against black. If you have and you haven't tried, haven't had it in a while, hell, go revisit it, man. I, I think you'll be happy that you did. Uh, I know I am. So um, that's about it. So uh, go out, give the part against black a try, and remember, enjoy your smokes.